so here we have the coop door. See the chickens going in and out. Um, and uh, it may not look like there's much a door here, but <clears throat> we go and swing the. We open the coop up here. Swing to the inside, and we see this is what the door looks like. From the ring down to the door, the PCMDF is all manufactured um, myself. The actual mechanism which controls the door is this here. Activate the door. This is the actual device here that controls the door going up and down. And then I have this wired to a Weibo switch. Activate the power on the Weibo switch. This device is pretty easy to use. Um, you set it up by this thing rotates, this black piece here, and you see there's a tab here, and there's another tab here, and there's a switch right here, which might be hard to see with the camera. When these, so you would slide these to uh, adjust, fine tune how high the gate's going up and down. And let me just show you. So if I operate this now, again, it's gonna close the gate, but I'm gonna concentrate just on um, on what this device is doing. So there we go, it's gonna close. You can see the, the black tab on the right moving into position and eventually clicks that button right here, uh, which then tells us to shut off. Piece of, it's basically fishing line that wraps around. If you kind of see where the, so the reel is on inside there. Nothing that's that up here that allows dirt to get into any mechanisms. And even um, the pulley itself that's in there, you see this is all solid up top here, so it's not getting onto the mechanism of the pulley. And so each power cycle versus the motor, so you simply need to just, if you were to operate this completely on its own, you would just plug it into a switch and then you would say, oh, you know what? It's the morning, let me open the door and you turn the switch on. And it powers it. Opens it, shuts it off, stops it, it stops it from winding. There's still power going to the unit, so the unit hasn't reversed itself yet. It won't reverse itself until it has until the power shuts off. So I'd have to go back to the switch now and shut the power off. Now you might be saying to yourself, "Okay, well I have it so that the thing powers on and off, but someone still has to come out here, flip a switch, and then it's to, to operate it." And that's where the, we go to. IOT automation, and this is a Wemo switch. Um, Label the flower gate, because that's what we call the door, is the flower gate. Um, and what what this thing does, with the way this, this Wemo switch pr is programmed in a, in a few ways. Um, the first is, is that if, when it's turned on, it will automatically shut off one minute later. And there it goes, and you hear it click. And now, by doing so, it cut power to this automatic gate lifter, thus reversing the engine, reversing the motor in it. So now when I come over and I press the emo button, powers it on, it tells us to lower. This guy reverses itself back, shuts itself off, 
and when I go back and look at the Wiimote switch, we see it's, it's blinking. It's blinking because it's activated a timer to say, shut off one minute from that button press. So now it will automatically power itself off, saving me a step. So the second part of the Wiimote switch programming is actually the timer. And I recommend you don't use a timer, but rather you use a feature of sunrise, sunset. Chickens are very tied to the sunrise and sunset. So therefore I would have the gate, um, whatever the door is operated by the sun sunrise, sunset timer. Chickens are coming in, they're gonna be confused that their door is closed, so I'm gonna open it up for them. Peony's very intrigued. She's never been this close to it when it operates, nor should they be. Actually, pretty easy to set up. Um, I didn't have a, uh, I didn't have to fiddle with it too much. And quite honestly, I had it, um, I had it originally in another coop. And then I'm, I moved it to this one. I rebuilt the door, so the door was a different size, different length. Um, so I had to recalibrate it a little bit and quite honestly, I did all that um, very quickly. So it is pretty easy to do. You have to be a little little crafty because obviously you have to build your own door, but if you can build your own door, I think you can then handle this device. So let's just go over one last time. We got the door, which you have to create. From here, you have the device itself to operate the door opening and closing. You then plug that into some sort of timer. You don't have to be, get as fancy as I did with an IoT device. You could just use a straight um, light timer. Uh, I don't know, you can have to adjust as the seasons go by. Um, I recommend using, I've been very successful with these Wemo timers. I find them very reliable. Um, they do sunset, sunrise. Then you could adjust uh, when you need the door to open and close. You know, if you do that rule where you say, once on, shut off, after, automatically after one minute, that will ensure that the th device always successfully resets itself. Um, and then that completes the full automation. And once you have it, I mean, this is the real deal here. And I put that X on it, because we do have a, a, a camera. Make, it makes, I put that X on it so it makes it easier to notice uh, if the door is closed or not. Um, this thing has been very, very reliable. Um, I've been using it for over uh, 18 months now. It's really worth the safety of the chickens. Um, many chickens die because, you know, backyard, especially people in back with backyard chickens because they're not really closing their coops up at night. So this is a really great solution. It does require a little crafty skills, but I imagine if you got this far into the chicken craze, you realize you're gonna to have to start adopting some skills, whether you want to or not. <laughs> so that's my automated chicken door. I hope this video helps. Links to the products are in the description. Please subscribe and I'll continue creating more videos and cover other products and ways I've automated my cube. Thanks for watching.